Hey, before I start, I made a few actual real life enamel pins. Some of you might know these designs from my Instagram, but now you can buy them in a the form of a pin. They're huge and so sick. I love them. And if you order them now, you'll get a 50% discount if you use the code new plastic at checkout. Link in the description. Okay, now we can start. Hey, guy from New Plastic, and while working, I accidentally got these soft body distortions that I thought actually looked incredibly unique, so I decided to quickly share them with you. The color management tutorial is unfortunately stalling, there's a good reason for that, so I really appreciate your patience. Check out the Gumroad store and consider support on Patreon, where you can get these project files as well as other cool perks, but mostly help me make more and better content for y'all. Follow me on Instagram at ojeng, subscribe, share, comment, bell, be kind, rewind, let's go. So my simulation settings are slightly higher, not a huge deal, but it kind of helps with this technique. Anyway, let's quickly add a cube and add two segments on the X axis and about 50 on the others. So we're a bit uneven here. Let's add a balloon tag to the cube, raise the overpressure to something like 60, turn on soft body, make it a bit softer, maybe 150. Let's turn off the pole draw. Let's play this to see how we're looking. And that's pretty interesting, especially if we put it in a subdivision surface. But if we go to the plastic deformation tab and turn on bend deform, ooh, look at that. The bend deform kind of freezes some of the deformations that happen, almost like hot plastic that's getting cooled and hardens as it expands. So it creates these interesting unexpected shapes. Let's save this shape and this is pretty much what this video is about. We can play with the numbers of the deform, increase the hardening. So you can see it kind of freezes the deformation sooner. And also this whole thing depends on the stretchiness and bendiness numbers so we can play with them as well. So increasing the stretchiness really makes it more wonky. Look how beautiful this looks, god damn. I absolutely love this. Okay, cranking up bendiness makes it more gooey and fluid. Also really beautiful. We can adjust the angle, which means this deformation will apply on any polygons bending over this angle. So you can see the shape ends up more distorted. Let's increase the subdivisions on the cube. And one thing we can do is for each deformation value, we can add a vertex map. So if I add a vertex map, add a random field, make the noise a bit bigger. I can drag the map into this map value and how bizarre is this? Let's change up the subdivisions and add an animation to the vertex map noise field. Yep. So honestly, from this point on, I just play with the numbers. I change up the scale of the original cube and the subdivisions and all these things make a difference. Sometimes the tiniest change creates a really uh, different shape. So play around with it. Try to experiment with exaggerated numbers because the point here is to get weird with it. Like here, I tripled the Y segment and got this ridiculous thing. Also, you can create odd shaped objects. I like to remesh them so I get a nice topology. And yeah, lots of fun. And you can totally just use these mutations as a starting point and sculpt them further to make them even weirder or to smooth out some polygons that are way out of control. Also, don't be afraid to combine different objects. Here I have all these rings with different segments amounts and different values in the cloth tag with the stickiness value pretty high and they kind of smoosh into each other and create even more unique looks. And I rendered it using some of my materials from the concrete and plaster pack. I just thought this was so cool and wanted to share. All right, that's it. Check out the Gumroad store. Consider support on Patreon to get these project files. And a huge shout out to all the patrons you see on the screen right now. You're awesome. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.